Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Megan, and today I'm giving you Carrie Underwood's Healthy Swaps to Ramen. We all know ramen. We all had it in college. It is filling but super unhealthy. They are quick and cheap, but did you know that one bag is actually two servings? Carrie and I didn't know that because I know most people eat the whole bag. I know I do. I have two right here. I have the chicken and I have the beef. They have a lot of calories and they have a lot of fat. They have a lot of sodium and preservatives, additives, and MSG. Don't get me wrong. I love these, and I wish I could eat them more. <laughs> but I've also heard, Carrie didn't say this, but I've also heard that they can cause cancer. So I think hopefully you just have to eat a lot of them. <laughs> but let's see. They both have 190 calories for a serving, so that's 370 per, per package, per container, and they have 7 grams of fat, 4 grams of protein, and 1 gram of fiber. For the longest time, Carrie says she didn't know what she was eating. She thought she was just eating noodles. But then she discovered the uh, Dr. McDougall Instant Soup Cups. And my grocery store didn't have them. So I had to order some off of Amazon. But I got four different flavors. I got the, I think there's more flavors too. So I don't think you're just limited to these. But um, I got the, this is a gluten free Asian noodles pad thai. And I got the rice noodles gluten free soup Thai Tom Yum. And then I got the rice noodles gluten free soup sesame chicken flavor. And then I got the spring onion noodle soup, the vegan. And this one's vegan. They do cost a little bit more than the ramen. Ramen usually costs about 99 cents, but these are still an economical, good, healthy choice that is under $2. That is a big cup of two servings are in this. And let's compare. Calories, let's see if they're all the same. No. Uh, <laughs> this one and this one have 130 calories. And the ramen has 37, I thought 37, oh, 370. And let's see, total fat, one gram, zero grams. Oh, this has 200 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 109 calories, 1.5 grams of fat. And this has... 14 grams of fat. This fiber, zero fiber, one gram of fiber, one gram of fiber, one gram of fiber. And this has two grams of fiber. So better for you in, in that regard but this has two grams of sugar three grams of sugar three grams of sugar uh-oh ramen you're doing better here four grams of sugar and three grams of sugar let's see but let's see protein it has eight grams of protein Four grams of protein. Uh oh. Five grams of protein. 
five grams of protein and four grams of protein. So, in that regards, ramen, a little bit better, but so many more calories. So many more calories. And there's a, like Carrie said, there's a lot of preservatives, sodium, additives, and MSG that these don't have. Let's actually, let's check the sodium. Sodium is 1,440 milligrams of sodium in this. Lots and lots of sodium. These have 740, so there you go. That's a lot better. 660. 630. And 580. So again, you know, Roman's not very healthy for you. But these are going to be quick and easy, and they're going to be healthy for you. More healthy for you than Robin. <laughs> and these Dr. McDougal's hardly have any fat. 1 gram, 1.5, 1.5, and 0, 0 grams of fat. And Robin has 14. Did we already say that? I can't remember if we already went over fat. <laughs> and like the fourth amount of calories of ramen. Much lower in sodium. And Carrie says that they're just as good and just as filling. Carrie's favorite is the vegan Thai noodles. All you'd have to do is just add boiling water or you can add room temperature water and then put them in the microwave. All the ingredients are ingredients that you can recognize like vegetables, Bean starch, sea salt, lime, and chilies. Let's see. Let's just go with the rice noodles. Sesame chicken flavor. The ingredients in this one is rice noodles, yeast e extract, organic cane sugar, wheat free soy sauce, garlic, potato starch, sesame flour, natural flavor, organic vinegar, mushroom, red bell pepper, spices, green onion, citric acid, organic caramel color, and it's dried. I can actually pronounce every single thing that's in this cup. Carrie says when she's eating these that she is eating just eating noodles without all the junk. She says she usually doesn't make these at home. She rather make them um, like fresh noodles from home because they do still have a lot of sodium and the vegetables are not fresh. Sorry if you, if you can hear my daughter in the background. But um, these are considered to be good on the go. Like I said before, Carrie prefers to make her own pasta, not instant, and to have like the fresh vegetables that make a great swap. But when she needs something quick, the Dr. McDougal's are her new favorite. Okay, next I am going to go on to the journal part. If you saw in my last video, uh, Carrie thinks that writing in the journal will help you stay on track when you're trying to have your healthy lifestyle. So everything does come out of Carrie's book, Find Your Own Path. And this um, journal entry, it says, The Journal of You. It says, Your pot Potential. It says, Did you ever surprise yourself by doing something you didn't think you could do? Did you dig deep and make something happen that you didn't think was possible? Did you get lucky but recognize that you are in the right place at the right time with the right mindset to help take advantage of that luck? Think back to something you did that was a real achievement, large or small. Write about what happened and consider what it took for you to accomplish that. What qualities do you have that allow that thing to happen? What did you learn? Could you nurture those qualities and bring them out in yourself to bring even more success or good things into your life? What other things could you do to put the be your best self forward? The four words, I'm not going to tell you what I wrote in my um, journal because of personal, but the four words I did come up with were courage, strength, patience, and love. And I also um, put in not to be lazy or procrastinate is what I got out of my journal and I'm gonna be trying to work on those. All right, that is all for 
this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss any of our videos. Alright, until next time. Bye.